Hello, hello, hello everyone. Today I'm playing Black Ops 3 Moon and I'm the one playing, but I'm not the one in control. My friend will be telling me everything I have to do. Benjamin, please introduce yourself. What's up, what's up guys? Uh, I'm excited to be back here. This is going to be a lot of fun. So I can kill zombies fairly. He doesn't have to tell me to kill zombies. I'm allowed to kill zombies however I want. But buying weapons, buying ammo, buying pack-a-punch, anything, including doors, including any items, he gets to tell me what to do. So... <laughs> You guys might know. Let's, uh, I mean, let's just say, uh, Ben, what, what, are you, what are you thinking here? Um, well, I don't know much about zombies, so this is going to be interesting, and I, I definitely don't know anything about this map. Yeah, so I, I was telling Ben about maps, um, and I was like, yeah, there's this one on the moon. And he said, that that sounds fun. So the the, the issue is, uh, even with this, oh my. Oh as you might have been, we're, we're not on the moon, so, so we're going to have to figure <laughs> out you know, how to get there. Okay. Zombies are a little crazy for round one, you might be thinking. There are so, so many of them, why? <laughs> <laughs> they just are, man. I, uh, it's just one of those maps. I, uh, some maps are harder than others, I guess. Okay. Um. Well, to get us started off, we. What what machine is that there on the left? Pack a bunch of I, I don't thing. have. Okay, I don't want five thousand. Go into the points. hangar. Go into the hangar. Uh, hold on, hold on. Uh, the hangar is that like on the this? Left, the, yeah, the hangar. Okay. Yeah. What 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 no, what now? And then just go into the center. I get. I mean, there's. No uh, <laughs> okay. So <laughs> now that I've died there. <laughs> I'll let you know. We gotta be on that teleport pad to get out of there. Okay. Okay, we're back. So the way this works is that every time I die from something, I will let him know so it doesn't just keep happening. So obviously, this time we will need to get up on the teleporter pad and get out of here before it gets too crazy. Okay, duly noted. Because I don't want to teach you too much about the map, because I think there's some fun things about this map that we'll, we'll see as we go along. But that was one of the things I was a little worried about, and I, I didn't think we would be able to survive, but it's how it goes sometimes. So my, your wish is my command, oh master. What would what would you like me to do? Okay, I would like you to get on the telepad. All right, the telepad. <laughs> is, is it a teleporter pad? Teleporter. Uh, yeah, it teleport pad. Yeah, it's fine. All right, now what? Okay. Um, I guess put on your astronaut suit. Are you gonna put on the astronaut suit? Yes. I honestly did not think you would think of that because I was ready to just stand there until I died in about thirty seconds. Well, it, it looked pretty significant, so I figured you could interact with it. Oh yeah, just seeing it there. Yes. All right, so we've we've made it. We are now on the moon. If we look out there, the the moon. We are the, on the moon. We yes. are we are moon landers. Okay, cool, cool. <laughs> what was that? What was that Disney game? Earthlanders, Skyland, Skylanders. Skylanders. Is that Skylanders. Disney or was that like a Disney competitor? Uh, to, no, no, because it was the it was a competitor Disney to a Disney Infinity. game. Disney Infinity, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, just to reiterate, because uh, I I think I did, <laughs> but uh, I am allowed to kill zombies freely, so it doesn't have to tell me that. Yes. But yeah. It'll be, it'll be, we're, we're, look, we're vibing it, it's good, it's good. So after you kill those zombies, uh, buy that door on the left. This one? Yes. Okay, and I think that this does open up both doors. Yeah, it does. Okay, cool. But, now what? Okay, um, let's scope around, check out this room. Alright, so there's a, there's a gun there, there's there. a door there, um, nothing really over here. I can follow the map and die if you'd oh, like me okay. to. <laughs> but, let me get this. Try to get some I'll points. I'll spare you for now. Ooh, double points, hold up. I'll, I'll show you, there's two more things over here. Let me get some, let me get, oh, that's unlucky. All right, so, there's a Shiva right there, which is a gun, and then there's another door. Okay, um, let's save up to buy a gun. Okay, we have more than enough for a gun. What oh, you okay. Do you want the pistol over there, or do you want the Shiva? Let's get the Shiva. Unlucky. <laughs> <laughs> Would have loved the RK5, I'll keep it a stack with you. Okay, All right. uh, let's now, open up that door there. On the this right. one? Yes. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. And so, so we're here. You, you, you can also just. There's a gun here. You can also just force me to stay in an area. If you, like, you okay. don't have to be nice. Right. You can just be like, nah, stay here for a few rounds. Okay, I'll try to find the most inconvenient spot for you to stay. The, that, yeah, I guess you could. I, all I'm allowed to do is kill zombies. If you're like, nah, don't go through that door. It's like, okay, I, I guess I'm not. Uh, oh, oh, also, also, let me switch this. So I made a community post, and you guys had some amazing challenges. Uh, you really did. And then me and Ben recorded a two-box challenge, and I don't think he made it past round four once uh, in four attempts. Uh, that video might be going up, might not. I think it's a really funny video, but I'm I'm between, I'm beside myself, and like, how much fun is it to watch someone go down over and over and over? Uh, which is why I thought this would be, uh, someone did a challenge like he has to say yes to anything you do. I was like, well, what if I just had him fully control what I did? Because if I ask him, then it's like, I don't, I don't know. But if he just has to tell me to do something, I I think it's a lot of fun. So I, I'm really excited. I think we might even do another one of these. We'll see. It's definitely fun, though. 
Okay, and yeah, based on the last uh, last run or, or recording, it wasn't that great. So we'll we'll see. Did you talk about the two box challenge? Yeah, the two box challenge. Uh, <laughs> I wasn't. I'm not the best at COD Zombies. Uh, he has appeared in a video before on the channel. It was actually his very first time ever playing Call of Duty Zombies, and I, I forced him to play on Transit. He. It was fun. I'll put it up in the top right corner. The audio is a little scuffed, as the audio is probably a little scuffed right now. We're basically cuddling each other to make the mic sound somewhat good. Uh, but hey, that's just how we do it around here. Hey, man, I'm, I'm comfortable. I, I see no issues with this. <laughs> just two homies snuggling under a of blanket in air, on an air mattress. <laughs> Play, playing some zombies. Uh, let's open up that door. Okay. Yes. Uh, there's a gobble gum machine. There's a salmon machine, although I think it needs power. Uh, there's frag grenades, and there's a door. Okay. Um, let's open up that door, too. Okay. And you can see my points there. I, I can. Yeah. Yes. Uh, is there anything in here? This is like one of the areas the excavation site can get into. Okay. But that's nothing to worry about. Oh god, the excavators. <laughs> Alright. So something I'm noticing, the zombies are floaty, obviously, as we're on the moon. Yeah, this is a zero gravity area right here. Is this map considered easier than others because of that? Um, I, I think general consensus is moon is pretty tough for some people. Okay. I think okay. there's a lot to moon. It's a really big map. It, it's pretty easy to get lost on if you don't know exactly what you're doing. And I'm sure that'll happen with us. Yeah, well, I know the map, but right, for but you, I'm, I'm yeah, this, this will be, you. this will be fun. Okay. The more fun parts seeing you try to figure out how to get back to earth so we can pack a bunch. Oh Lord. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, let's go through that door now. Okay. And now we're in a stairwell. We are okay. in a stairwell, and now we're in like this area. So right here is the gobble gum machine. Gobble gum. Okay. Um, nothing really down there. Mystery box. Argus. I think that's Argus. Yeah. Uh, switch. MPD, which is where people I'm, go crazy. And I'm touch assuming it. that's how uh, we get back switch. to Earth. The MPD, the yeah. Moon Pyramid device. Yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe. I, I don't. I can't tell you. Perhaps. Uh, and I think there's, yeah, there's another door up here. Uh, and then there's another door. I might have already shown it to you, but there's another door over here. You know what? I think it's time to hit the mystery box. Mystery box? You're, okay. having, you're having a little too much fun with that. What guy. weapon do you want me to swap out? The Shiva or the 1911? Ah, uh, we'll swap out the pistol. Okay. But I want you to use this weapon that you get from the mystery box. For <laughs> All right. The, luckily, the Vesper is not terrible. Okay. I can I can survive with the Vesper. Vesper is not very scary. All right. So I guess it's time to rack up some more points. Getting low. Okay, you just want me to just kill some zombies yes. in this area? You want me to hang out in here? Yes, I want you to hang out in here. Alright, uh, you, you want me to fill the soul canister? <laughs> no, that's probably You don't know anything about an Easter egg. No, no idea. Look at, look at me being an idiot trying to make an Easter egg joke. He doesn't know anything. Um, and some of you guys might notice that we're going to be missing... Uh, trust me, I'm I'm not the one who's missing out on things here. Um, because some of you guys are probably noticing something right now. It's okay. Look, we, this is uh, this is the fun of the challenge. Just sit back and, and enjoy the chaos that will ensue. Every... Oh, that's... That's a little crazy. Uh, it's just going to be fun. I, I'm actually like, you guys can't tell, I have the biggest smile on my face right now. This is genuinely maybe the most fun I've had in zombies in forever. His smile um, is quite large. <laughs> and I love zombies, which is a crazy thing. Cause like I have so much fun recording videos, but this like, I don't know, it's crazy being able to play from like a new player's perspective somewhat. Like, ah, I love it. I don't know. It's so cool to me. Gives you that new player nostalgia. I am, I'm going to pick up drops as well. I think it's fine for me to pick up drops. Yeah. Of course. Is there anything you want me to do? You want me to keep hanging out over um, here? Um, uh, open up that door on the top right, yeah. Up here? Yes. Okay. Can do. Uh, let's see, let's see. Through here, there's a double tap machine. Uh, do, do, do. Probably one or two things that you can grab. Uh, let's see. There's a device that spawns over here. Gobble gum machine. So what does gobble gum do, exactly? Um, or are we going to leave so, that open to... I, I actually think I have pretty basic ones on right now. I have anywhere but here, which will randomly teleport me anywhere. If I get stuck in a corner, I can use it. Sword flight, which makes my melee a one shot to, I believe, around five. Newtonian negation, which does makes the zombies flow upwards once they die. In plain sight, which makes me basically become invisible to the zombies. And stock option, which means I don't have to reload. It pulls ammo out of my stock. Okay. Hmm. Oh, Nova Crawler. I hate these things, man. <laughs> or jumping jacks. No, jumping jacks are dars. Uh, there's a VMP right here. I'm trying to see... There's Deadshot Daiquiri, which is a perk. I might have missed some stuff as we went through. I don't think so, though. Uh, but yeah, we can follow all the way through up to here. Like I said, I think there's a hacker device somewhere that we could grab. Um, if you want me to grab that, I'll find that. But it's up to you. What, what do you want? Grab, let, let's get the hacker device. The hacker device? Okay. Yes. Let me see if I'm I can sure that's find important. it. Uh, yeah, it's actually really, really useful on Moon. Uh, it takes up your equipment slot. So I have to find it really quickly. It's always around here somewhere. Oh, uh, there we go. I traded equipment for a hacker. Okay, now what? Very cool. 
Um, is that? Do we have access to that door that you just passed? Uh, right here. Yes. We've already opened this. Oh, we have already opened that. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Wait. Trade equipment for P. Yes. No, I don't have an astronaut suit anymore. Oh. Yeah. I'm. Should, I'm dying. We yeah. should probably put that on. Oh, yeah. Well. Okay. <laughs> hmm. I didn't think about that. Yeah, I, I try to key you in a little bit, let you know it takes up the equipment spot. You oh, can only use oh, the yes. suit or the hacker device. Now, it is possible um, whenever gravity is restored and everything to just use the hacker device and not worry about the suit. You can get across the map uh, through zero gravity areas without having to worry about it, but yeah. <laughs> okay. Hmm. So, I think what we've learned so far is I have to use the teleporter pad to get to the moon. Mm. And then the astronaut suit lets me breathe in space. Right. And the hacker you cannot use at the same time as the astronaut, as the astronaut suit. suit. So these are the peaceful, they're the useful pieces of information, the tidbits of knowledge that we've learned so far. Okay. Let's let's get on that telepad ASAP. Okay. Pad. Unfortunate that you say ASAP, but it is what we do, I suppose. You can get a ton of points here. Makes sense. I can yeah. put on our astronaut suit. Oh, I started to do it, but yeah, yeah, I did trust that you were actually going to tell me about the astronaut suit. <laughs> uh, so again, we have quick revive, we and then we have two doors, oh, and yeah. Why quick revive? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, then we wouldn't have had to do the last run if we just bought quick revive, but you didn't tell me to, so it's okay. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, and there's a gobble gum machine right there as well. And I think the first gobble gum of every round is free. Okay, uh, grab that gobble gum then. You want me to? Yes. Okay. So I almost never use gobble gums in videos because they are typically to me. Cause, uh, do you want me to grab it? I, I so, yes, yeah, you said yes, grab yes. the gobble gum. Yes. Um, uh, typically gobble gums are OP, but I actually have some pretty basic ones on right now that aren't considered super OP by the community. Um, basically, they're more defensive ones. No one's going to get mad at you for running anywhere but here plain sight. But once you start running Perkaholic and raindrops, you're not looking too. You know, and people aren't going to be too happy with you. Now, of course, you don't know what these things are, but that's that's okay. Okay, uh, I think we're gonna go to the right this time. To the right? Okay, yes. the illusion of free will because this they does go to the same exact thing. same yeah. area. We're just by the. We're on this side. Last time we came out over there. Right. Okay. Uh, so we have the Shiva again, a door, and then the RK5 is over here, which is a three round burst pistol. And uh, we'll save up for six. the pistol then. We do have enough for the pistol right now. Okay. Let's so I will buy the pistol as soon as I use my M1911 ammo on these zombies to try to get a little bit of points because Moon has a ton of doors. I just want to make sure we don't have run into any point issues. Uh, I'll go and buy the RK5 just so we can say that I didn't disobey you, but I don't have to. I don't have to <laughs> use it right this second. No, you don't. Unless you tell me you have to use it. Then right. in that case, I do. But luckily, I'm, I, every now and then I'm given a little bit of free will where I'm in control. The puppet strings are loose, and I can <laughs> put some oil in the squeaky joints. <laughs> right. Okay. Mm, what's to the right there? Uh, over here. Yes. Oh, death. death. Certain death. If Certain I if death. I fall down there. Oh no no no! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we're oh, back. We have quick revive. We have quick revive. Quick revive put us back. Um, we can't buy it again, can we? Oh, we can buy it three times. Uh, let's go ahead and buy it again. Okay. <laughs> I did, dude, it was like, I don't know. I, I didn't go super close, so I felt like, and I just died. It doesn't look like we need our spacesuit again. Uh, we, we still have it on. You can tell over here oh. where you have the spacesuit on. Okay. And I, I just pointed at my point area. If you guys don't know, by the points, you can see whether you have the spacesuit equipped. Alright. And we still have the RK5 and everything. So we'll go back to the door. Or this is the other door, but. This is where we were before I ran to my death. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's go back down there and then into the uh, down into down here. No, 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 <laughs> not, that, not that way. Uh, the, the doors that we haven't unlocked. Six yet. or eleven. Uh, eleven. Eleven. Okay. And I'm sure that's certain death as well. Uh, yeah, yeah, it is. I can almost guarantee that. Okay. Cool. So we're back here. Mm. Uh, again, there's the uh, I believe the Pharaoh uh, door, and I think that's it in here. Let's uh, save up to open that door. Save up to open the door. I, I think the door is either down. 750 or a thousand. Let me let me do a little check. You check 750. Oh, we can open it. Uh, we can open it as soon as I kill one zombie. So I can just. Oh, what terrible aim! But we got it. We did it. We've made it through, and we have gobble gum machine stamina up, which I believe needs power to turn on. Yes, uh, and frag grenades, and a door for 750. Okay. Well, let's save up to open that door. Save up to open the door. Okay. What do you think about Moon? Because I think Moon is probably one of the most loved maps by the community. Is that so? I I do believe okay. so. Okay. It is very. People consider it quite hard. Like people consider Origins very hard and Mob of the Dead very hard. Um, in general, like zombies. I'll tell you, zombie fans have a messed up perception of how difficult maps are. <laughs> Cause I look, you guys can go check the comments on the post. The challenge you guys were asking the Ben to do. I'm telling you, the man cannot make it past round four by himself. <laughs> it is not uh, great. Yeah, you guys. 
uh, everyone, I think zombies members just think the zombies game is easy, not remembering how much we probably all struggled whenever we started. Unless you're older. If you're older and you start playing. But he doesn't, he doesn't play games that aren't Nintendo. He plays Pokemon. Come on. I, I have baby mind when it comes to this he, game. He does have baby boy mind. You want me to go and open the door? Yes, or, okay. I do. So in here, we have another door. And I believe, yeah, that's it for this area. Okay. So I'm not going to make the same mistake as last time. The hacker device is in the next room? Uh, it, it can spawn like in like a the middle area. So once we leave the MPD, okay, is where okay. it'll start to be at. Let's go ahead and open up the next door. Right open the door. All right, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Uh, and this area is where a gobble gum machine is. The box spawned here again. We have a switch. Uh, we have another switch over there. Uh oh, hold up. There's a zombie that just like came right under me. Uh, a door, and then there is another door. Kind of parallel from where we came in. Let me try to clear out some zombies so I don't just take it down right now. Yeah, let's save up to hit the mystery box. Save to the mystery box? Oh, alrighty. And do you want me to talk about the RK5 or the M1911? Do you? Uh, the M1911. Okay. Can do what we have enough. Let's go ahead and run over there. Oh, I'm hoping I get something good. You're saying, Ben, ben could always just be evil and be like, oh, you can't use it. Like, <laughs> you can't grab it from the box. Hmm. Uh, can, can we choose quickly? Yeah, so grab, grab the gun, me. Yes. Okay. I'm trying to jitter step there. <laughs> yeah, look, look. I appreciate you trying to put the thought into it. You don't know what these weapons are, I all right? Really don't. I, really, I know Raygun is good. It, it looks like gun to you. Yes, Raygun and Black Ops Three. I don't know about that, brother. <laughs> <laughs> look, there's some. There's many iterations of the Raygun, and uh, <laughs> the okay. Black Ops One might not be the very best in the world. Fair, uh, fair and then this is yeah, this is another door. Okay. So you can choose this door, or we can go over there. Uh, let's go over there. Over here? Yes. All right, where we went last time. I think this door might be 1250. I love being constantly proved wrong in videos about how much doors cost. 750, okay. Uh, let's run through here. Yeah, so the the hacker starts to spawn in this room, and it can either be in this room, up here. Oh, my nose is itchy. Oh, there we go. Uh, it can be up here, or it can be in this final one, all the way uh, behind that door. Okay. Well, let's see if we can find the hacker device. Oh, you wanna you wanna find it? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I. <laughs> Are you sure about that? <laughs> I won't make the same mistake as last time. Curious. I think you don't know. I said find it, not pick it up. I, I hear you. I do. Oh, there's so many spawns. For it. There's like seven spawns in here. Um, it might not be even be in these rooms. It could be in the bio lab, which is the, the next door. So I don't... If it, <laughs> I get... I think, look, I, I'm not going to tell you what to do, but I'm having trouble finding it. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Let's open up the next door then. Okay. At the top of and it very well could be in here, but I also don't know all the spawns, so I won't know for a fact it's not up here until I check. The main spawn here, yeah, it's right there. Okay. That's it is by Deadshot Daiquiri. Okay. No pickup just yet. Okay. We just came through there. What else is in the, the lab? So this takes us to the surface of the moon, this door. Uh, this is the VMP, and this takes us to the biosphere. Okay, let's go to the biosphere. Alrighty. Head on in. And does the biosphere have oxygen by default? No, it does not. I didn't... I've never been in the biosphere in this state. So I, I always thought it had oxygen, but I guess not. Hmm. There's certainly something hiding here. Uh, oh, there's a lot in the biosphere. So what we have, we have a gobblegum machine. I believe Widow's Wine is over here where PhD used to be, right there. Uh, let me see. I think there's a gun or two in here. Let me clear out some zombies and keep looking around. Uh, do, 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 maybe, maybe no gun? I don't know. I don't actually like hang out in the biosphere a ton, ton. I know some people, this is like their favorite training spot. Uh, and I, I try to show it off in some videos because I know people really do like it. Oh, I'll this use is the death uh, machine. Death machine. Unless you tell me no. I mean, no, no, I, use the death machine. See, you're too, the thing is, I think you're too nice, Benjamin. Because I, <laughs> if you have, if you're good at zombies, and I'm not, I'm telling you, M19 only. Knife them. Don't buy quick revive. That's for cowards. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm evil. Well, after you use the death machine, knife only. Knife only? That's going to get me killed, but okay. This door is a thousand. Uh, I think this is the okay. only door that's well, possible I, to buy. I want to figure out how to open up the, or, or turn the power on. Uh, yeah, that's, that's the thing. Now, okay, I will no, say... No more knife, you're gonna die. Okay. <laughs> uh, I will say I told you that there was a switch somewhere. Okay. And that, we, that's we the hint I will give you. We have, we've already gone past it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, is it in the first room? Uh, not the, I mean, not the spawn room, no. Okay. Well, in that case, let's go back to where we've gone and try to find the switch. Okay. Uh, 
I I will just take you to the area with the switch. Okay, good idea. Uh, and I will, if you would like me to turn on power, I, I will turn on, turn power. on power. I won't, I won't, I won't make you look through each and every room. Oh, get away from me! Oh, what's his deal? So he'll grab you, uh, and if he grabs you, he'll give you a big old hug and he'll teleport you across the map, and it won't kill you. The problem is it takes away your perks. Oh. One of your perks, specifically right now, I only have one perk, so it would take away my quick revive. Um, which is very bad because you only have a limited number of quicker buffs. Mm -hmm. uh, there's two switches. That one's for the Easter egg. We can't use that, but the power switch is right here. Oh, okay. Uh, and now in several areas, we will have gravity. Not in this area, but like the biosphere will have gravity. Okay. Um, and, and the area where the hacker is up here, now there is gravity in here. So like now we could grab it and be just fine. And in the biosphere, there will be gravity. But on the surface of the moon and such, there is still no gravity. So you have to kind of plan out your route accordingly. Okay. I think I just heard the excavators getting mad. Um, laboratory. Ah, it'll be okay. And maybe it's just saying restored power. Maybe there's excavator, maybe not. Let's go outside. Let's go outside, okay. Yes. Uh, just so we know, Benjamin is not able to hear uh, the game right now. I do have the headset on, uh, but I will be conveying any key information to him. So don't don't you worry. Wait, did, what did you say? You said moon, surface the moon, yes, right? Yes. Okay. I was I was trying to listen to what the lady in my ears was saying. <laughs> All right. So out here we have Mule Kick. We have the Gobble Gum Machine. We have a K and forty four. I believe is what that is. Um, there is a teleporter right here. Ooh, a little bit of lag there. Sheesh. Uh, let me grab that Death Machine. Uh, and then I think that's it for out here. Mm. Maybe maybe there's a gun over here. No, it doesn't seem like it. We need to find the Juggernaut or Juggernog. Is that what it's called? Yeah, th there is Juggernog on this map. Okay. Uh, but I think it uh, I think it might be a little tough for you to find that. That's oh. all I'll say. <laughs> okay. So we might not want to worry about finding Juggernaut, and we'll come across it when we come across it. Well, overall goal is getting back to Earth so we can use the Pack a Punch machine. Okay, I will say whenever we go back to Earth, uh, it will once again be infinite zombie spawns, just so you know. Okay, okay. Uh, but yeah, we can, we can absolutely get to the pack a bunch and pack a bunch of time, and then, you know, you can make me stay there, kill some zombies, or we can head back on over. Okay, what's, what's uh, down this way to the left? Down this way? So if we go along this teleporter here, uh, let me go up the stairs, because oh, apparently you can't do that. Okay. Yeah, I did tell you there's a teleporter right there. Uh, this door leads back to the biosphere, and then we will have most of the map open. Okay. Um, Everything except tunnel six will be open, I think. Go ahead and open up that door to the biosphere. Okay. So we just have access right in here. Yes, sir. There we go. And look, cool. we can, you can like these things will boost you, but I, I usually die. But I can do it if you want me to. Sure, let's do it. It'd probably kill me. In the, but I don't know how it works. I don't know how to activate actually. Maybe you have to start it over there and like it finishes over here. I actually don't I know anything about it. But yeah, what what ne what next? Um, oh oh, mighty Benjamin. <laughs> need to get back to Earth. I want to pack a punch your pistol. Uh, you want to pack a punch the RK5? Yes. <laughs> okay. Gotcha. Noted. See how deadly that can be? Uh, the boost called the Rex Caliber, like a dinosaur, so that must mean it's deadly, I'd say. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh, what do you want? You said you want to get back to Earth. You know, you gotta, you gotta clue I me know, in a little bit I'm more. I'm trying to think. I, 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 I don't even know what to look for, honestly. I. <laughs> Please think back to what I've said the past two minutes. That that is truly oh, all. I'll go ask back to you. the teleporter. Right? Okay. Okay. Yeah. I just don't know if it's activated. I don't know, the only one way to find out, I suppose. That is true. So the teleporter's right over here. You want me to get on it, or what do yes, you want me to do? I want you to get on the teleporter. Okay. All Looks right. like it's activated. It most certainly is activated. That is what power does. We're back oh, on Earth. Oh, good point. And right here, there was speed cola whenever we spawned in, and now Random. there's jug. Oh, let's buy it. It swaps between jug and speed cola. So buy Juggernog. Uh, and now what? Uh, how much does it cost to pack a punch? Cost 5,000. Do you want me to get the points and pack a punch of the yes, pistol? Yeah. All right, I will get the points and pack a punch of the pistol. Uh, I think I'm I think I'm good enough to survive in No Man's Land if with actual guns. I don't think it'll be too much of a problem. Uh, I feel like, yeah, I'm pretty sure No Man's Land zombies, though, don't reset to around one health, I want to say. I mean, shoot, they might. <laughs> what do I know, man? But they're kind of strong, and now they're starting to sprint. So, yeah, they definitely weren't already. Let's see. Oh, I have in plain sight. Uh, I'm, it, do you want me to use, so in plain sight will make me invisible to the zombies, so it'd make it easier to pack a bunch. Do you want me to use that? Yeah, yeah, no? yeah. Okay. use it. Go ahead. Wait, what happened? Oh, no, I pressed wrong key, I pressed wrong key. Hello? We're good, we're good, we're good. I actually took off my helmet, I'll put it back on a second. Um, it says two, like, by the gobble gun, I forgot it means two charges, I think it always is telling me press the two key. Rex Calibre 115. Okay, cool. Let's I'm go not... ahead and put our, uh, helmet back on. Okay. And, and teleport back to the moon. Can we teleport back to Earth? Alrighty. Yes. Uh, well, actually, and... let's save up some points. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> Let me see if I can get around. I, I have heard that apparently training up here, dogs don't spawn, which make my life way easier. So I can just train up here a little bit. Once you hit 2,000, you're good to go. Okay. <laughs> then there we go. Yeah, We're good to go now. To go. <laughs> not too bad. Not too bad. My biggest concern was saying there's like, yeah, it's good for points and everything. Um, the danger comes in of running out of ammo in the gun because there's just infinite zombies. You make no progress. Excavation site not active. Interesting. I mean, not interesting. Just <laughs> something. Oh, interesting. So this is the only part of the map I think we don't have open is Tunnel 6. Okay, let's go through Tunnel 6 then. Okay. Can do. And now we can rebuy ammo, but it's 4,500. Quite expensive. Okay. Uh, we have the Elkar 9, which is like a fully automatic pistol. And we have a door for a thousand points. A little pricey. Mm, let's go ahead and go through the door. Go through the door. So we have a gobble gum machine, and then what, what else is there? I, I will say I hate this part of the map. Everybody hates Tunnel 6, I think. Uh, the basically MP5, Akuda, which is like an SMG. And then we have a door, which is behind me. Unlocked reflex reticle. Hog! <laughs> Dope! Awesome! Yeah. Let's go. 250 for this door, and then there's the guns. Mm, okay, let's save up and let's buy another gun. Or actually, I want you to hit the mystery box again. Okay, I know it's. Do you want me to keep going forward, or you? I want you to hit the mystery box, and then we'll go back. <laughs> okay, that's. <laughs> you guys heard the man. <laughs> he wants me to go back and hit the mystery box. Hey, I'll go back and hit the mystery box. Would you like me? To, would you? <laughs> would you like me to swap out my pack a punched weapon, or would you like me to swap out my weevil? Your weevil. Okay, you want me to keep using? The, you like yes. me using the pistol? Yes. Yeah, I mean, it's not bad. It's not basic. It was like by no means a bad gun. Do you even know what the? How many perks do you know of? Like and what they do? Uh, so like like quick revive and like those perks. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Any, like there's stamina. I, I know quick revive and juggernaut. And that's it. Yes. Okay. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Noted. As you can see, those are the only two I've purchased. Right. I had this. Or we've purchased. Okay. Swap out the weevil. What what are we gonna get? We got an FFAR. So it's, uh, it's like a fast shooting assault rifle. Okay. It's pretty good. So now we're going to go back to that other door and open it back up. All right, you want me to run all the way through? Yes. All righty. I love running across maps. I'll tell you, you watch any of my videos, I always talk about how my favorite thing is just consistently running across maps. Whenever there's nothing else happening, I think it actually makes the best content, if you'd believe me. Yeah, I, I, really I, think, I think I do believe you, actually. <laughs> This is so great, dude. This is so insane. I hope you guys I know the commentary is very different because it's more so just me and him going back and forth about what to do. But I think it's actually just so much fun to see. Like, uh, unironically, it is. Because, like, how often do you get a mix? Like, you know, I'm, I'm pretty good at the game. I'm able to survive, and but, like, absolutely zero knowledge of the game. But being able I don't know. It's I mean, so cool to me, man. This is what I would do if we were playing this map. If I were in total control. Okay. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. So this door's 1250. Let's save up to open the door. All right, can do. Um, <laughs> do you? I don't even know what to ask. To be honest, my brain is so fried by like I <laughs> I don't even know what to say. What? What? So so okay. You barely play zombies. Your experience with zombies is transit, um, an attempted a uh, town two box and moon. What do you think about like for one the difference in them? Because mm. I, I think they're very different experiences. What do you think? So transit, given that I actually did okay or, or way better than the two box challenge <laughs> I, I, like the map isn't my favorite because you have the denizens and all the fog it's not what like, denizens been the the, the the floaty head okay head okay head fair heads. enough fair enough you remember the name i didn't think you would yeah they, they, it's I, super I have enough for this store by the way uh, yeah go ahead and open it up okay and um, as you might notice we're <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> we were, we were. Well, how am I supposed to know that? You are. That's the funny. Yeah. That's, that's why I think is the funniest part. Because like, as always, players like, oh, you know, what? I need to hit the box before I go any further. Let me go and hit the box. <laughs> it's just running. It's like, oh, the door. Uh, we do have the entire map open up now, by the way. Okay. So I don't think there's a single other door for us to open. Everything is open. You are. You are just in control. And we're not. We will be ending at round fifteen. Um. So anything that you want to do, we will need to get done before round fifteen. Okay. Um. Hmm. So the pyramid. I'm intrigued by the pyramid, but yeah, it's cool. It is a cool looking pyramid. I will give it to you. <laughs> but how do we? What do we do with the pyramid? I gotta tell you, I, I don't rem. I, the pyramid is part of the Easter egg. Okay. You, there's two. There's two Easter eggs on this map, basically. And the pyramid is the uh, you collect souls. But if you're asking me to do that, there's no sure I remember the steps. <laughs> I there's zero world. So I I gotta say Easter egg. 
off limits. Okay. I don't remember it. Let's go back to the biosphere. I want to see you try the the. Or let's see if we can figure out the, the jump pads. The jump pads. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. But, but back to the topic. Um, with town, just basic. You know, I'm sure that the super pro type players could be really great at it. Uh, you know, super 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 fleshed out. And then this map, it seems like there's a lot of stuff to do, especially with the Easter eggs. Uh, just having a lot of memorization. Oh, there you go. No, 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 no! Okay, we didn't oh. die. And now, if we don't have Jug there, we die. <laughs> okay. Fun fact. Also, fun fact, these no little network crawlers can only spawn in the laboratory. Uh, yes, in, in that area where the hacker is. That's the okay. only place they can spawn on the map. Uh, but you, you were talking. I'm sorry, I didn't no, interrupt no. you. So, yeah, with, with Moon, there definitely seems to be a lot more stimulation going on. Just... Uh, oh, <laughs> tons of ton, tons of tons of content to be viewed. Uh, you know, you got the jump pads. You know, the pyramid with the Easter eggs. Are, are there Easter eggs on every map, or complicated question? It also depends what you mean by Easter eggs. Okay. Um, I don't know what I mean by Easter eggs. <laughs> there, there's a quest on every map after Ascension that is a no oh, the mattress. Oh, we're good, we're good. Uh, warning. Excavator something. One of the excavators is uh, going to start excavating before long. Okay. Uh, but, so every map after Ascension that's not like a part of a bigger map, like Town to Transit. Town does not have an Easter egg, but Transit does. Town's just a part of Transit. Um, every major map uh, does have a, a quest Easter egg, yes. I see. Okay. I see. I see. Would you like me to do anything more with the pads, by the way? Um, is there a point to the pads? Sometimes drops will like spawn up there and you can do the pads to be able to grab the drops. Okay, well let's forget about the pads. Let's let's go see what's going on with the excavation. Um Okay, if I go would you like me to go here I'm, I'm trapped. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. I could have pressed one but I panicked. Uh to show you that best, I will go outside. Yeah, take the most efficient route. Yeah, well uh, yeah, <laughs> it'll be fine. I uh, will go right over here. I'll step on and get flung around again. And that's one, so not that one. That one's not going. That one! Okay, so what is the point of the excavation? Yeah, so that's just gonna, like, destroy something around the map. Okay. It is possible to stop it, but I don't... I wish you the best in figuring that out. Okay. If you can piece together the anything... I will say all of the tools to figure out how to stop it have been shown. So like, I I'm assuming it has to do with the hacker. It does have to do with the hacker, yeah. yes. And there are three, there are three foes and three hackers. So. Yeah, okay. Let's go find a hacker. Uh, okay, you want to go find the hacker. All right. Yes. Um, I I don't feel comfortable making something aware of your attention, but just know there is something that is not great right now. All right, you want me to go and trade? Oh, you have zero ammo. I do have zero ammo on both of my weapons. Oh, yes. both of your... Oh, God. Uh, uh, let's buy a new weapon, then. Uh, what weapon would you like me to buy? The, the one that's there on the wall. The VMP? Okay. Yes. <laughs> would you like me to pop my gobble gum so I can get it yes, a little bit yes, easier? Yes, yes. <laughs> What weapon do you like me to swap? Uh, the pistol. The pistol? Okay. Yeah. Uh, this well, hacker. actually... Oh, well. Well, fine. <laughs> fine now. <laughs> Alright, you want me to grab the, ha the hacker? Yes. Okay. So what would you like to, me to do with we, the hacker? We have to go through the, the gravity areas to get... Where, where do you want me to go? Well, we can't go outside, because now we don't have our... We can go outside for very limited time periods. Hmm... Are you intended to go outside when you have the hacker? I'm him. not answering that question. Okay, well, let's go to an area where we can actually survive for an extended period of time. The biosphere has oxygen. Yes, let's go to the biosphere. Okay. I will say, looking at the excavators, don't think the biosphere will have oxygen for too much longer. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that excavator is coming right for in here. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, uh, let's go across the biosphere and exit. So you want to just walk back out, or do you want me to go to the surface of the moon? Well, uh, walk back the other way you can. Okay. Can do, I believe. Right through here, and we're back in the lab. Okay. Can we go... Well, we can't... You got this. Come on. You okay. figure something out. We need to go outside and go back in. <laughs> oh. I, I oh, will no, 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 go no, no, outside, no, no. and then I will go back <laughs> okay, in. Okay. <laughs> well, I, I was thinking out loud. Where can we go from... Can we go that way? What's that? Sure, we can go this way. Okay, yes. This is what I wanted. Alright. <laughs> now what? Um... You just keep going can, through here? Yes. Alright. Where can we use... The, oh, oh, it was on the... It, they were in the the, the beginning areas. They like, are in the beginning yes. area, yes. We like me to go to the beginning area. Yes. Uh, it just said something seconds. So I, I don't know how much longer we have. 
I really would love to not go down. Hold, hold. Let me breathe. All right. There we go. You can breathe in the doorways. Uh, okay. And this area also has oxygen. And and does your your breathing resets? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. The moment okay. you're in oxygen, your breathing automatically fully resets. I, as far as I'm aware. But you did tell me to go to spawn, so no, <laughs> hey, no. Oh <laughs> my gosh. Me. God dang it. Oh, we're all the way back over here. Oh, that excavator is not in good shape. Hold up. And how long? Hold off. Oh. Hold up, Ben. I have terrible news, I think. Oh, no. I know you said to go to spawn, but... Has spawn been destroyed? Uh, not spawn, but I believe that we are too oh. late. Oh, okay. So I gotta get out of here. I gotta go back in. Um, I have killed myself. I know. Look, that's the punishment for not doing what you told me to. Okay. <laughs> uh, would you like me to re-grab the PES? Yes. Okay. I'm just gonna run back through here. Uh, so now, luckily, this doesn't fully close off this area. It's just that now uh, we can't breathe unless we have this this suit. That, that's really all that changes. The zombies okay. are um, now the gravity zombies. Now the gravity zombies. So there are two other excavators. Yes. Does so it only matter like. One of them can completely close off a tunnel, and if you go into that tunnel and run into the moving excavator, you will just insta-die. Okay. Uh, and then the other one, I think, can close off the other tunnel. I see. So there's, you know there's tunnels 6 and 11 that we took to get here? Yes. I believe it can close off both of those. Okay. And and all three will eventually get used? Uh, yeah, as time goes on, unless we stop them by uh, going to spawn and, and using the hacker, yes. Okay. And that just makes the map harder, essentially. Uh, well, if both tunnels get destroyed, the only way to go, like, back to spawn would be going to Earth and then back, but then you can never go to Earth again because you can't get back. Okay. So if both tunnels get closed off, then, yeah, we're a little screwed, but we're also ending in three rounds, two rounds. So yes. I think, I don't think we need to worry about excavators <laughs> too much. It was a fun journey, but, yeah, we completely screwed the pooch on that one. Well, we can still try to deactivate one of them or two of them. If they act, if they start going crazy, we can try. But I, I'll tell you if one of them activates. I think it's, it's either every few rounds or like I don't know if it's time based, round based. I just think you have to have power on. Because because apparently I thought I glitched the game at one point in in my gobble gun video, but I just never turned on power. I was like, man, the game must be glitched. There's no excavators. And I was like, no, you just didn't turn on power. So they never turned. I'm like, by God, I'm a genius. <laughs> I just didn't turn on the power. No power. <laughs> Because I didn't need it for the Gobble Gum Challenge because I couldn't buy perks or anything. So okay. I was like, well. Well, how can we spice this up for the last? Uh, I think it's about to be very oh, spiced no. up. <laughs> I, I did a bad train. Did you have fun? I did. I had a ton of fun. Awesome. I'm glad I had a ton of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe. Tell me if you want to do this, uh, want us to do this again. But yeah. Have a good one, everybody. And take it easy.